Hello, Basehead's on YouTube. All right, today I wanted to talk about uh, different sixth order bandpass designs, advantages, disadvantages to them. Kind of give you a little intro if you're considering that. Um, I think for starters, we'll talk a little bit about. Uh, I think we'll talk about a parallel sixth order bandpass design, and I'm going to draw real quick a parallel design. Yeah, that's the speaker. Okay, here's a parallel six order bandpass design. You've got on the right side the chamber that's uh, um, set up to a high frequency, and on the left side, you've got the chamber set up for a low frequency. And notice they both exit out into basically, they exit out into the, the cabin uh, of the vehicle, they don't mix with each other. And real quick, I'm going to draw kind of a frequency response. So we're going to, let's say we're going to do a, a 30 to 60 bandwidth. That's, that's pretty typical is being one octave apart. So you can do 25 to 50, 30 to 60 and so on. So what you'd, you'd find with something like this is it might be a little bit like this, right? Where it peaks at 30 and then it kind of goes up and then down and they call them dog ears. Um, parallel boxes tend to kind of be peaky at their, uh, frequency response or their, their, where they're tuned at. So 30 and 60 in this case, and they kind of lag a little bit in the center. Um, now the advantage to this box is size. You can get away with a smaller box with this. So if you're... Let's say you have an 18 sub and it calls for a five cubic foot box. You could realistically do maybe, um, hmm, depends on how small you want to go, seven to nine cubic feet. Uh, the bigger you go, the less dog ears. So if you went a little bit bigger, it you might have, well, there is a certain point where, where you'll actually, let me, clear the drawing real quick there is a certain point where you'll actually maybe get worse dog ears if you have a super big box um you could always design this in win isd uh or that speaker box light which i use um that also lets you design this so you can kind of take a look at your peaks and frequency responses um Disadvantage. It doesn't get very windy. If you're looking for six order for wind, uh, the, this parallel one is, is not the best idea. It's not, it's not a good box for that. Uh, on size, it's great. Uh, you can definitely, you could probably fit almost, almost two 18s for the size that it would take to do, um, like a one to 1 1.5 ratio series sixth order which we're going to talk about in a little bit okay now i'm going to talk a little bit about a one to one ratio series okay first let me draw so show you what the series is all the rest of the ones we're going to be talking about today are a series bandpass design so let's see here i'm going to draw right i think i'll do right like this and then you've got your speakers. Oops, I forgot to draw the port. Okay, so you've got your, on the left, you've got your rear chamber, or sometimes they'll call them bottom chambers, and that's the low end, and then it ports into the right side of the chamber, which is your top end. And now, of course, this, this could be flipped and, um, around or upside down or <clears throat> all over. This is just a... Just showing you, and then uh, it goes into the the bigger chamber, and then it exits. Um, this is called a series order six order, so it goes from one chamber into the other chamber, and then out into the vehicle. Um, one thing about this is is you you don't have as much cancellation issues. The parallel, the one we just showed once, both of those exit into the vehicle. You can have cancellation issues 
actually in the vehicle. Uh, now, if you the, the best way to avoid this is to wall it. So if you did a parallel that was walled, uh, same thing with this series that's walled, that's kind of what you want to do to avoid those issues. But now let's talk about this. I'm going to talk about a one-to-one -one ratio. And I didn't draw a one-to-one -one ratio here because the left chamber is definitely smaller than the right chamber. This is most... Most six orders you see are, are, are like this, where you've got maybe about, um, oh, a really popular one is 1 to 1.5 ratio. It's very popular. Uh, I'm going to talk for a moment, though, about a 1 to 1. So realistically, in a 1 to 1, both these chambers are going to be very similar. They're, they should be about the same the same size okay so first of all the advantage to this so once again if you have an 18 that calls for five cubic feet you'd, you'd have about nine cubic feet in this setup so also it's a, a fairly space saving design uh let's get in what's let's look at a 30 to 60 this is what's really great about this and this is once you've got this in the car Okay, so this is kind of, you kind of end up with something like this. You end up with a very flat and very wide bandwidth. So if you want bandwidth, a 1 to 1 ratio is a really good option. And like I said, if you had 118, uh, you do about 4.5 cubes per chamber. You want to do just slightly smaller than the sub uh, recommends. And so you end up with a, just a great wide bandwidth now let's say we do a one to five or one to 1.5 so this is a, a kind of a standard ratio with the series band pass and i'm gonna just draw this in a different color you kind of end up with um uh, remember we're doing 30 hertz you kind of end up with something that peaks a little bit more well that's a terrible drawing isn't it i need to a little hard to draw with a mouse or on my with a finger on my screen but uh, maybe like this okay so you're going to be louder and it's 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 going to be over a narrower range now the bigger you make that ratio you actually end up kind of um you basically stall on the rear end so let me let me change colors one more time you basically kind of end up with the same thing on the rear end but then you get this huge hump in the front and uh, we talked about cabin gain. Cabin gain can really make up for your lower frequencies in the in the, the back end. So it's it's not so bad. But that's what happens if you go with like a 1 to 1.5. I've even seen like, um, oh, actually zoomed in. Hold on. There we go. Uh, I've even seen, I've seen several different ratios, uh, 1 to 1.5 is very popular, 1 to 2, uh, I've seen, I've seen that, I've even seen like 1 to 3s and up, uh, realistically, when you get in this range, and, and bigger, so 1 to 2, uh, and then 1 to 2 plus, you, you really, uh, especially with higher power, you run the risk of damaging your soft parts, your cones and stuff. So about a, a 1 to 1.75 and, um, and less on this uh, ratio is a kind of a safe range, a really good range. Uh, if you really know what you're doing, then, you know, go for it. Do whatever you'd like. Um, the one, two, two, one to one and a half. So if we look at this one to one and a half, and you had that same five cubic foot recommended 18, then you're looking at around a uh, 13 and a half cubic feet total. So it'd be four and a half. Uh, oh, sorry, that's a one to two. You'd four and a half on the bottom side and the nine on the top side would be a one to two. And then a one to one and a half is what around 12 cubes or so. Someone can calculate that up and, but uh, it's going to be around that. I'm not doing the math in my head. Uh, anyways, 
there is one other type, and it's called a, a negative ratio. And it's where you actually do uh, your sixth order. Let me draw another sixth order box. I'm going to draw ones that you see very often in cars. Okay. And then you have your subs, right? Sub there. You know, they, they pack these with subs. So these negative ratios are super popular to get tons and tons and tons and tons of subs in. Um, and the, the problem is, is that they usually, this part, this, this front chamber right here is usually just completely wide open. They have no tuning on it whatsoever. And what happens in this scenario is your car, so let's go ahead and try to wall this right here. Okay. So we'll just. We'll say it's walled. Here's your wheel and your windshield. And um, what happens realistically is is people think that this top part here is their their top or front chamber, but it actually becomes the entire vehicle because they 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 don't they don't have a port. Um, once again, they don't have a port right there so it, it acts as the whole vehicle so this really works well if you've got a very small front cab you can you can get away with this really really well uh, otherwise you're gonna have loading issues and all sorts of other problems but the great thing about series band passes, so all the series band passes, is they, they do get wind. Uh, especially the one-to-one -one ratio gets a lot of wind. Doesn't really put up real high dB numbers compared to uh, a standard or positive ratio, like a 1 to 1 1.5 like we talked about. Anyways, uh, this is just some kind of inf in interesting information about different uh, six-order band passes. I probably forgot and didn't mention a lot of stuff. You can throw stuff down in the comments. I'm, I'm going to get more in-depth on uh, six-order band passes in the future. But uh, for now, this is just a, a kind of a quick beginner's guide for people who are interested and they just want to know more. Anyways, I love you guys. Cheers.